Hello and welcome to Moore Kingston Smith's new edition of Indo UK Patrika. Moore Kingston Smith India team is back with its ongoing series of Indo UK Patrika March 2021 Holi edition. Hi, I am Bharat Rampal, Vice President Business Development at Moore Kingston Smith, working as a key member of the Indian group based in Gurgaon, North India. In addition of Patrika, I would like to put spotlight on one of our fastest growing technology client called Signet Infotech. Signet Infotech is based in Ahmedabad, Gujarat, and is one of the most trusted names in the IT space, delivering technology solutions across 35 countries, including the UK market. Signet has a proven 20-year track record, delivering 2,000 plus high-value software solutions to a wide clientele around the globe. Today, it's my privilege to have the executive director of Signet Infotech and second generation of the growing Signet business, Mr. Keval Huthi Singh, with me. Yes. Hi, man. Thanks, Keval, for finding your valuable time and showing interest to feature in our Indo UK Patrick edition. Please allow me and audience to know more about Signet and its UK growth story. So, to start with, can you tell us uh, about Signet and its services? Sure. So, we are an IT software company. Uh, we have two primary lines of business. One is the bespoke software development that we do for clients globally, with the largest uh, clients sitting in the US, in the UK, Europe, uh, South Africa, Australia, and uh, the Middle East. And the second part is we have our own software products that we build and take to market ourselves. Uh, the largest software product portfolio that we have is in the tax technology side, where we help the largest enterprises globally uh, comply with new changing tax regulations with ease. And uh, this, this particular services we started from India, of course, which is our home market. And then we've since expanded to the Middle East and to the UK as well. Okay, that's pretty diversified. So why did Signet choose to expand to the UK and how has been the journey of Signet so far? So we have always been operational in the UK for the last 15 years, particularly for our software services development business. And it's been one of our top three, top four markets for the longest time. Uh, but with uh, the making tax digital tax changes coming into the UK, where the government to en ensure enhanced compliance and um, fewer data leakage and fewer bad fraud, uh, they made mandatory for all businesses to file their taxes digitally. That's really where we came in and expanded our product offering as well. So in 2019, when making tax digital was made mandatory, we launched our product in the same month. We got recognized by HMRC, which is UK's finance and tax body. And since then, we've expanded to work with a number of large enterprise, enterprises who use our products to file their taxes, not just in the UK, but also now expanding to Europe, uh, the Middle East and India, all of these sort of geographies. And we look forward to expand with further offerings in this space. Great. That's good to know. So do you have any future expansion plans in UK, uh, especially with respect to any uh, new investments or uh, creation of new jobs? Yes. So we are actively looking at expanding our product offer in the UK, particularly around tax technology. We plan to use UK on, and London particularly as the base to expand our offerings into the, uh, into the wider European market. And for this, we are currently investing in building up our own teams, uh, you know, whether it's a development team, a sales team, a business development team, support team within the UK as well. So our clients get a lot quicker response uh, and we can reach out to clients in a lot, uh, lot more flexible way. We're also actively looking at, uh, and of course, discussing with a couple of companies in a similar space uh, who want to get acquired. So we're also looking at maybe acquiring one or two companies uh, who are in the same space and have some sort of technology that complements the product that we take to market. And we can uh, jointly have a much wider offering for our existing customers. Awesome. Please do keep us posted uh, about any acquisition done wherever we could help you. Uh, moving ahead, which sectors and subsectors are the key for Signet's business in UK and Europe? Yeah, so for our software services development business, uh, we are sector agnostic, but we have seen particular success in the BFSI sector with a lot of clients being in the finance, insurance, banking, fintech, those kind of domains, and also in the healthcare and transportation sectors. Those are sectors where we say we have some level of expertise coming in. Um, on the other side, of course, the tax technology sector is, uh, is the key for us for our own products. Uh, because that's where we operate. And um, in tax technology, our clients span almost all sectors. So we have clients in retail, uh, BFSI, manufacturing services, all kinds of businesses. But again, particularly strong with our product offering in the manufacturing and retail sectors. Okay, that's good to know. 
So uh, what challenges did you face and how did you overcome them in your span of 15 years? And also not to forget the last year uh, where pandemic was you know, globally. So how did you tackle those challenges? Yeah, so I think, of course, thanks to uh, the way the systems are set up in the UK, uh, setting up a business, getting it up and running, opening a bank account, those kind of things weren't really a challenge. You know, it was easy to even set that up remotely for once. The real challenges came in when it came to speaking to customers. And I think that's something that despite the pandemic still can't be done effectively remotely. Um, so over the last 15 years, we've traveled to the UK quite regularly with senior team members travel, traveling at least once a year, um, if not more frequently. And then particularly once we launched our own product, even I was traveling myself every two months to the UK to meet with customers there. Uh, to of course educate them about our requirements, but also what's most important is to understand their requirements firsthand and build products that can add value to their business. And I guess that's been the most significant challenge in the pandemic because while uh, there are tools like Zoom and Microsoft Teams and all these kind of things, it's still difficult to get that, uh, get that connect with the customers remotely, which is why we're looking forward to the lockdown restrictions ending in June and July where we can travel back and meet up with customers again. Right, right. I think, uh, you know, uh, that shows uh, how Signet is very proactive towards UK market and there is a commitment for a senior executive to travel always and make sure the business is secured and always moving. Good to know. So we all know that situation is a bit improving now with vaccines coming out uh, both in India and UK. Uh, how are you uh, planning to celebrate Holi this year? You know, while of course it's uh, great to hear news about vaccination, even in India, we have started now with uh, quite a wide rollout. A lot of uh, elderly people and people with comorbidities are getting vaccinated. Uh, we still feel that it's too early to have any sort of large scale solutions. Uh, so we'll be having a traditional uh, religious celebration at home with, with the close family. And then of course, connecting with friends uh, all across the world, not just in India over Zoom or over something like that to celebrate virtually. That's the plan this year. Absolutely. Of course, we all will miss, miss the physical part of the holy, but yeah, if we can celebrate virtually, then why not? Great. So, uh, Kibal, uh, my last question and perhaps one of the important questions, what are the similarities and differences between doing business in India and the UK? I think our audience will be very keen to know about it. No, definitely. I mean, of course, uh, on the structural side, a lot of the law, a lot of the setup that we have is similar to the UK. Uh, but I believe also culturally people are quite similar in that there is a lot of, uh, you know, a lot more connect when people meet up with each other, people are a lot more hospitable, uh, both in India and the UK, a lot of our clients when we visit them, they make us feel like family. And that's, I think, something that's, um, that's definitely similar. Um, I think the key difference that's there is that I think the working style is a bit different. I think in India, it's still slightly more uh, unorganized and slightly more fluid and responsive, while in the UK, it's a lot more structured. And having teams in both geographies, of course, it brings up some challenges to start with, but we have to embrace that diversity to uh, really have an, have an impact for our customers. Perfect. Thank you so much, Kewal, for uh, enlightening us and all the viewers about sharing your growth story and success, especially in the UK market. We appreciate your time today. So Moore Kingston Smiths will come back with more such interesting sessions and growth stories of our prestigious clients in our future editions. In case of any queries, please feel to reach me or at the share contact. Till then, stay connected and safe. Stay with you. Wishing everyone a very happy and colorful holy. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bharat.